I will present you the aggregate app, gamification for enhanced energy efficiency in Europe. I'm an Austrian student and I'm studying business and economics uh, at the University of Graz. In cooperation with the company Eralis, I've worked out this current study. Um, to the agenda, first I will tell you something about the aggregator project, then you will hear something about the co-creation process. After this introduction, I go over to the main points of this current case study, and at least I will summarize you the main points. Now to the aggregator project. In the course of the Intelligent Energy Europe, a consortium of 12 partners from 10 different countries is charged with the designing, developing and rolling out of an efficiency advisor. This is a smartphone and is called Aggregator. This smartphone will be available in nine different languages. The main goal of this project is to support consumers to choose energy efficient products and also enhancing energy aware and ecological sound behavior in everyday life. To reach that goal, it is crucial to encourage consumers to use this application regularly. Inter alia, other project goals should be pursued. For instance, 4 million households shall be reached where the responsibles um, are wanted to yield um, 80,000 downloads. Here on this slide, you can see you can have an overview of the 12 partners from the whole European project. Interalia, the level of uh, my cooperation partner, Eurales. Now to the aggregator function. Generally, the aggregator app, aggregator app will guide consumers on two different levels. The first level is the shopping mode. This mode, this mode is responsible for the selection of energy efficient products at the point of sale. And the day to day mode, the second mode, should support consumers to lead an energy efficient and sustainable lifestyle. Now to the co creation process. The ideation of the project began with an app review. Further, the Austrian Energy Agency and the Austrian project partner, Evolaris, developed a questionnaire to assess users' expectations concerning to the aggregate app, as well as their generic smartphones or social media use habits. According to, this, to the results of the study, the concept for a pan-European smartphone application uh, was proven successful. So the responsibles go further to the next phase. Um, the basic design and the navigation concept has been evaluated in an Italian and Belgian mobile living lab. So my part of, part of this project in cooperation with Evelaris was to, um, to test the functional prototype or the, the under, of the underlying gamification strategy. And for us it was important to find out whether and how the underlying gamification strategy can influence the motivation of the user. So the following research question um, arises. Can the underlying gamification strategy of the aggregate app motivate the user to use this application regularly? Now um, to the activities uh, of the gamification part. Uh, in the aggregate app, a general reward system was chosen. According to the gamification theory, um, appropriate game mechanics are points, levels, challenges and competition. And through the collection of points, the user should be motivated to reduce the ecological footprint of the household. The user can collect points, can reach different levels and at the end of each level he can participate on a prize contest. Um, specific categories of the aggregate app provides users additional information. 
required for a better understanding how to save energy or how to lead um, a sustainable lifestyle. This additional information is revealed to the user in form of tips. At the end, the user will be quizzed on the content he just read. He can also evaluate it if, if he is useful for him. The user will also be invited to uh, put theoretical knowledge into practice and perform monthly or weekly challenges. Additionally, he can also try out the quiz to test his understanding of energy savings. He also can collect points through the possibilities, uh, social media activities, or to use the scan function of the app, or to use the comparison or com cal calculating tool. Um, this gamification part, respectively the day-to-day -day mode, has been tested with the so-called usability test. 15 Austrian respondents based on an iOS version prototype has been tested during April and May 2040 and required 40 to 50 minutes per interview. The respondents divided into three target groups. The first target group are the early adopters. The second are the cost-oriented persons and the third and last one are the energy conscious persons. These respondents have to perform some predefined tasks. Using a guideline based on the defined research question and the F prototype where guided have you have been used to guide the respondents through the interview. Now here you can see the, the results of the task part. The first task was to evaluate the tip and to start the challenge. Here you can see that 6 out of 50 users were able to accomplish the task. 6 out of 50 users uh, need some guidance and 3 out of 50 users had minor problems. The se second task was to play a quiz to recognize score and participate on the prize contest. Here you can see that 6 out of 50 users were able to accomplish the task. 8 out of 50 users need uh, some guidance and only 1 out of 50 users had minor problems. Now I will summarize you the main points uh, of the evaluation. As it should be mentioned that 30% like the choice of the integrated game elements, but the uh, priorities of the budget group differs um, regarding the ad function and the gamification aspect. Uh, especially for those who don't play on their smartphone, uh, it is necessary to, to um, involve further incentives um, that they participate in the day-to-day -day mode of the application. To summarize, it can be said that all, that not all charted group accepted each possibility to collect points, but there is some motivational mechanic uh, for everyone. Um, user behavior also shows that the app is very well suited uh, as a shopping assistant and people interpret the aggregator app as a tool that helps consumers to choose energy efficiency products at the point of sale. It should also be mentioned that the aggregator app seems to be successfully designed for those who are really sensitive to energy saving. So we think and we hope that Invitation part in the aggregator app could probably turn it into a powerful tool. If you are interested in, you can already download the app in the appropriate Android stores, and the iOS version uh, will be available in the next days. I hope so. Um, at least I would like to show you a video that uh, summarizes you the main functions and the modes of the application. <coughs> Thank you.